I always wanted to be an artist, but as a kid, being an artist seemed like something as hard to attain as being a ballerina, maybe. My mother wanted me to learn piano as a girl. She had no interest in the art. And so I took six years of piano. Cannot play piano to this day. When I was a kid, my grandfather gave me $25 to buy some paint with so that I could be an artist. Now, I have not a clue what to buy. And so we went to an art supply store and I bought a wooden, like a wooden crate that you opened it up and it had probably the worst oil paints ever. But I had the box of paints and I had a couple of panels to paint on. I stayed up all night painting and I painted an apple and a banana and it was, I was copying something out of a book. And I had a lot of paint on the brush and everybody's gone to bed. And I took the paintbrush and I turned like that. And when I did, it went across the drapes and it went plop, 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 and left paint on the drapes. The next morning, she threw everything away. That was the end of it. And I didn't paint again until I was grown and out of the house. I would have liked to have seen just by what I've progressed in eight years, what could I have done if I had painted for 40 years. I feel like at my age, I don't know how many painting years I have, so I feel driven to paint every day. 365 days of the year, I paint something. I feel like I have to really give it my all, and to do that, I take more lessons, I don't give up on lessons, and I actually learn a lot from teaching, too. But here's what I thought was pretty. <coughs> that one back there is catching the light. Yeah. Did you notice this morning he found a little one and he let it catch? My mother was wrong. You can only play piano so long. You can paint till you die. You see things that you want to paint. You can't help but want to paint. The thing that most amazes me is the colors that you didn't see before. And once you train your eye to see color, you can't unsee it. And like just looking at you right now, I'm looking at the colors in your face and I'm thinking, how would I mix that color and how would I make it? When I teach my students, I talk to them about go outside and look at a cloud and they'll say, well, I don't see all those colors. And then the next day they'll come back and they go, okay, I began to see some colors. And the more you look at it, you see blues and pinks and yellows and greens in what before we thought was a gray cloud. I think that's the most amazing and probably rewarding thing that's come from it.